Hey there, guess where I'm at? No hints or nothing, but look the burger is where we're at. Down on Lafayette Street off of Broadway here in the village. We're about to get down on some funky burgers and maybe a little bit more. We're really excited. Well, I got me some beer. We got some pull apart tacos. It looks delicious. Let's see what we think here. It's got a nice light barbecue flavor with some fresh cilantro and tomatoes and onions. Love it. Let's see how the shell is. Perfect balance. I'm digging it. We just got served a Delmonico steak with some sweet potato fries. We got a Hawaiian burger here. Can't wait for that. Goodness and wow. What do we have here? A pastrami sandwich. Can't go wrong in New York with a pastrami sandwich. Yeah. Go. We're at Brooklyn Lager here at uh, Mocha, Mar Mocha Burger. Uh, Joy Delicious for you and the food. I'm giving you the lowdown on the beverage of this evening. So we have ourselves a Brooklyn Lager and a Mermaid Pilsner. Right now we're talking about Brooklyn Lager, an Amber Lager. An auger, a lager, remember, is a beer that's fermented in cold temperatures, conditioned cold temperatures, bottom floating yeast, very traditional. This is an Amber, mostly going to be a little bit lighter. Uh, it's got a nice color. It's, it's, got, it's got a nice floral hoppiness. Uh, not too much in the in the bitterness. A good actually balance with the bitterness. Uh, I think it's a good beer. I really uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the Brooklyn Lager. Fine. I'm about to taste this pastrami uh, sandwich. Yeah, it's juicy for sure. Um, very palatable. I do find though the barbecue sauce combined with uh, the pastrami takes away from the flavor. But the meat was cooked nice and crispy, so the juiciness kind of blends well with it. But I would prefer a little less sauce on my pastrami. Okay, so here we have the Mermaid Pilsner. We tried the Brooklyn Lager. Here's a little the, uh, Mermaid Pilsner. Pilsner, remember, is a lager. It's a pale lager. It's a style of lager beer. Uh, so I poured a glass here. It's got a nice light body. Uh, it's got some good floral hops. Good, good, good floral hops. Uh, my understanding is there's rye in here, and that's giving a bit of a malty spiciness, which I which I like. Uh, I give both beers a thumbs up. We're gonna have to see how it pairs with the food. We'll hear more from Joe Delicious and then we'll get back to that. <laughs> so I've got this Hawaiian burger. It's got a little bit of pineapple and lamb bacon in it. Can't wait to taste this. Mm. I love the uh, brackish, salty lamb bacon in here. And the, uh, the sweetness from the Pineapple adds a real like dulcet flavor. I'm gonna take that in my mouth. Delicious. So I got me some chimichurro sauce dipping into my Delmonico steak. Can't wait. Succulent. This meat is succulent. I love it. Chimichurro sauce. The meal was really great. Both beers were very good beers. Um, as far as the, the Brooklyn goes, it was lighter. Uh, it was lighter though it's an amber beer. It was better for the starters, for the appetizers. Once we got into these big meats, these barbecue sauces, these chimichurri sauces, which is awesome. I do think the mermaid with its structure, with its with its more hoppiness and the rye that they put in there, I think really gave it uh, a better drinking wine with the meal we were eating. But I, I enjoyed it both. So I just about finished my plate, and on the Joy Delicious scale, bunk is the worst, then you got fresh, which is good, then you got icy, which is a little above average, and then you got hella raw, which is just like a bomb. I'm going to give this a fresh. I love 
love the steak and the chimichurro sauce. I devoured that. The little bit of salad that I had, I liked the freshness. I needed it. It was lacking on the dressing. It didn't, it, it definitely lacked a little more. And these fried onions, though I love the concept and I feel like it filled up the plates, they didn't really do much for me. Like every bite that I took of the steak, I wanted to put the chimichurro sauce. And it has so much interest in the onions. So I'm giving this, oh yeah, my fish and potato fries were really good. Delicious, fresh, not soggy, nice crispness, crispness to it. So again, it gets a fresh two thumbs up from Joe Delicious. Yeah, that's